Uh, today it is Tuesday. It is December 1st. The year is 2020. This was not the video I wanted to make this morning. I was planning on talking about something else. But I've been dealing with my mother this morning. And my mother is probably one of the most religious individuals I ever dealt with well, since I'm 50 years of age and she's been psychopath psychopathically involved in religion and God and Jesus since the day I was born on April 9th, 1970. And it ain't got better, y'all. It's gotten worse. In 50 years, in the 50 years since I've known my mother, her religious beliefs are dangerous and they are reckless. And it has not got any better. I love my mother, but I realize my mother is a very dangerous person because she puts her faith in God and Jesus. And she does things that nobody with common sense would do because you, you're not, nobody, not that I would do because I'm not with, believing that God and Jesus is going to come rescue me from this situation. And my mother has been, did some very reckless things over the years because of her religious faith. See, I am atheist. I ain't got time for that fake Jesus and fake God and angels and um, souls and what did she tell us? She always bringing up something about um, the blood of Jesus and I ain't got time for none of that fake bullshit. Every religion on planet Earth is false, but it's Christian, Muslim, Jewish. They are all fake and man-made. I don't have time for the nonsense. Yeah, I have a Christmas tree over there. But that tree ain't got nothing to do with Jesus Christ. If you picked up a book and read, you know this. That's a pagan holiday thing that's been around way before Jesus Christ supposedly walked the earth, but he never did walk on this planet Earth. Uh, I, I'm not, and I deal with my, that, I don't know, y'all black folks, black people, family members, friends, they just love some Jesus Christ. I'm like, okay, have you fucking met that motherfucker? How could you be in love with somebody you ain't never fucking met? Have you ever had a conversation with him? You love Jesus, but you ain't never talked to him. It's almost insane. And that's what's going on with my mother. Insanity. My mother's insanely religious, and she's always been this way, and she ain't the only one. I look at most of my the people, family members and friends. The, oh my God. I remember one time when I had this friends. I can't be around you. I can't ever be around you because you're you're blasphemous and you're gonna go to hell. And yet I'm thinking, nigga, you standing up in a gay bar talking about some I'm gonna go to hell, not blasphemous, and I don't believe in the Jesus you believe in, but you was just in the back of this bar sucking dick. What is going on here? Insanely religious. It gets into their head. And they create all this stuff in their mind to justify their fucked up ass behaviors. And they say they're a Christian. My mother takes your heart. I'm a Christian. I always say, Mama, please stop this nonsense. You don't have to tell us what we know you ain't. We already see what type of Christian you are. And you need to stop that bullshit. And she needs to... Uh, uh, that, uh, that, my, I, I, y'all, my mother, she has done some very... Reckless, dangerous things, and I'm have to correct the stuff, and I have to always correct it, and I have to always correct it. And I'm not saying I ain't perfect. I've done some crazy shit too, but I ain't do it in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> I ain't did shit to myself. Oh, Jesus is gonna come fix it. I, I, I just don't know. Yeah, I can tell y'all some stories that my mother did, and I was in total shock by her actions, and I had to get up and go back out and correct these issues. And some of the issues I couldn't correct because it was too late before I found out what she had done. It was just too late. And she puts her faith first. I believe God, God has ordained my walks. I said, yeah, I'm going to knock that Jesus off from under your feet in a minute, honey. And you're going to that Jesus, that little Honda that just moving your feet around here. When I snatch that carriage off from under you, then we'll be, you know, I was going to get an apartment. And I was going to put my mother in there, but she would have drove me up a fucking wall. But I may have to do so. I may have to put that next door to me so I can watch her. She just, she's reckless. She's dangerous. And she's around all, she, she'll pick up a complete stranger off the street and roll with them all day in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. Why are you picking up strangers? I remember years and years and years and years and years and years ago when I was a little kid, my grandmother and two of my aunts picked up a stranger. Is in Michigan or Indiana to take him someplace and he ended up robbing them. Pulled out a gun and robbed all them three church going Christians. 
See, my mother's doing the same dangerous mess. You don't pick up a stranger in 2020. You don't hang around people you don't know. And you most certainly don't give them your fucking money. And why would you do this? I'm just trying to understand it. No one should know what type of money you have in the bank and what you're doing and what's going on. Nobody should know shit. I don't know. Y'all, listen. Do y'all ever see any niggas sitting around here in this house? No. I don't play that game. I don't want people around me. I don't want people in my cars. I don't want them in my bank and finances and in my fucking business because I don't trust niggas and hillbillies and white folks and Mexicans and wherever you want to fucking go. Because I'm not going to waste my... I don't be too dangerous. But my mother, because she's a Christian and she's protected by the blood of Jesus, she, she picks up complete strangers. She trusts everybody. God is protecting me. Mama, this God is all state insurance. That's the only thing protecting that damn car if they snatch you up out of there. And they ain't going to protect the car. They're just going to pay it off. They ain't going to protect you. Is all state your Jesus? And I'm trying to figure this out. And this is how she lives her life. And she's always lived like this. My mother, one time my mother had a key to my house. And me and Earl went to dinner. We was coming back and the alarm went off. And the people called me and said, alarm was going off. And I said, something told me to call my mother. I said, mom, and she said, oh, I have some people in town from... Uh, she was at that time, she, my mother was attending new, uh, what was that church? Creflo Dollars Church, World Change was out there with that thief and crook. She was out there with him, attending church, and his phone was on, because I'm, I'm waiting for my mother to call me back so I can go snatch her ass up, and waiting to figure out where the hell she is. I, I knew I should have put that tracking device on that guy. I waited too late. But I got the tracking device and now I should have slapped it on there. There go. Thanksgiving Day was the perfect setup to put that device on that damn car. I screwed that up. I was too busy making macaroni and cheese and I should have out there screwing that damn device on that damn car. So I can keep track of her ass. But that's okay. We all gonna correct this day. I'm gonna catch her ass today though. With a tow truck. And be right behind her ass in just a few minutes. So as soon as I find out where she is. That's, that's the crazy part. Where are you? You don't know where you at. Okay. Anyway, well, as I was saying, years ago, my mother had a key to my house. And she went over there, and she got inside the house, and she was going to have some complete strangers who were in town coming to some church convention at the church in my house. I didn't even know. I was supposed to come home, me and her supposed to go to bed and go to sleep with these strangers in the next room over there. And we don't, I said, you can get the fuck out my damn house with them. And I had to get that key for my ass. Because she had no business. It was late at night, but he don't have a place to stay. I said, I don't give a damn about them people. That ain't my concern. Why would you bring them strangers to my house? They live there for some type of convention. I don't care. They didn't, they didn't drove here and didn't have housing. Who would drive to Atlanta and not have housing to go to a church, um, whatever they call these damn things? They have a church. Everybody be in there screaming with Jesus and all this shit. You ain't think about getting you a hotel room? That's the type of mother my mother is. I had to get that key from my ass. But I'm going to track it down this morning. We're going to be... It's just, it's just shocking. It's just shocking to me. It's shocking. Um, I kept that... My mother was, was asking me for something I had here in the house. So I thought she was taking to my niece's house um, a few days ago. And she kept saying, I need to come get that. I need to come get that. I, come get that. I said, Mama, well, I'll take it over there and let her. What? I'm going to take it to her. I'm going to take it to her. So finally... My mother came and grabbed this stuff, and I called my niece and said, did you get this stuff? And she said, what stuff? I didn't get any stuff. I said, well, mama said she came and got that stuff that I had over here, and she was going to give it to you. She said, mom, she ain't brought nothing, she didn't bring anything to me. So I called mama and said, well, where did you take that stuff to? Oh, I took it over here to this place, and they needed it here, and they needed it there, and they needed it. I said, well, I told you not to go back to those places. Why must you continue to do something I tell you not to fucking do? Oh, I know why. Because I'm going to snatch that car and I was trying to hold out till you got that damn apartment that they still building, but we can't wait. My sister's on the way over there now, so I'm gonna have to lock, I'm gonna have to lock her into a cage for a minute. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna lock her down at. I'm gonna have to probably go back over to the house where she's my sister's house. She fell out with them over there because she just don't. She packed all her stuff up and moved into some hotel, and we never knew this until she said she was there. But by the time she got over there, I said, okay, well, fine, you just stay here until 
your apartment's ready. Your hotel is not bad hotel, but why would you do this? But that's what she did. So I said, okay, because my mother does what the hell she want to do. She wanna, You can't tell that woman nothing. She going to do what she want to do because she got God and Jesus by her side. But God and Jesus don't have a wallet or a credit card. I've never seen Jesus' name on anything paying for nothing. Jesus most certainly ain't put his name on his lease of this apartment that she's going to be moving into. Jesus' name ain't on that car out there. And I have yet seen Jesus make a payment for that Allstate insurance. I'm just wondering, well, where the fuck is Jesus at? If, if this is your main ace case, boom, he, he, he the, the main, where is he? Because he got some bills to pay. He ain't never showed up. Christianity to me is a form of mental illness. And my mother is caught up in a form of mental illness. A form of it. Um, my mother's called up in a form of mental illness, and something's not right. Something's not right. And I need to figure out how to move forward with this because this is starting to get out of hand. And um, I love my mother with all my heart, but my goodness, this is starting to get crazy. It's really starting to get crazy. It's 9 o'clock and it was going on 10 o'clock. I've been calling since 7. Nobody knows who she is. Lisa, everybody running around trying to find her. Well, that is a very big city. How are we, I said, are we going to be running around all day? But I know which certain places she might be. Okay, well, y'all going to run over there. But when you find her, let me know. I should have put that tracking device on this car. And um, her cell phone is tied to my phone. So I might be able to track that phone. I need to call. But I don't want to turn. I don't know. I'm sure everything's fine. This has got to change because something's not right going on in this one of us. I keep calling and texting, she ain't answers the damn phone. Maybe she's asleep. I doubt that because she jumps up too early, be riffing and running. They're going to be a fine out. I hope everything's fine. All I can say. I keep monitoring her bank account. Something just ain't right. Oh, and there she is. I'm gonna call y'all right back. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I we found we located the missing the missing mother. My mother has been located. I'm she's on her way over here. My sister found her somewhere, and she's on her way here. And we're gonna resolve these issues. And I get, I'm gonna put this little device on this car because this is starting to get out of hand. And um, anyway. So, I'm going to have to conclude this video because I have to go over here and shower. I was supposed to be going to get my Christmas tree today, but I got other shit I need to take care of. I'm just so sick of this mess. But anyway, I will see you all later on. Maybe later on today. Maybe tonight I'll grab my tree. Uh, ooh, y'all know that I couldn't do a video without belching, huh? That's my year. I just drank a bunch of coffee. But anyway, where is my damn coffee? Can we make the coffee? Yep, listen, y'all. I'm just tired. When people keep asking why I don't have why I haven't packed up and left Atlanta, because it's every day it's chaos and confusion. Not just with my mother, other family members too. My niece is going through a whole bunch of chaos and confusion, and um, it just I don't know. I just don't. I didn't have any children. I just I just want to be free. I just want to be free. I just want to be free. You know, I just want to be free dealing with Earl. My mother, family members, friends. I want to be free. I want to go to the beach and lay up and lay up and have me some cocktails and just lay out on the beach in the sun and swim through the ocean and and and, and go see the dolphins and Michael Jackson said he he lost his childhood. I, I'm losing my adulthood. I'm fucking with these niggas. I deserve to be free from all this nonsense, and I'm gonna get there too. So anyway, I let me go up here and shower and quickly eat me some breakfast. I'll probably just go to breakfast with my mom. And here she is on my way up. I gotta stop here. I gotta stop there. I said, You are always ripping and running someplace. Where do you have to go before we have to go take care of this business? You need to just come directly to me. And my Lisa was like, Yeah, you need to go directly just to go there. But I gotta go here and I gotta go there and I gotta do this. Just ripping and running. Do a what? Now I don't get it. But that's okay. Because either I'm gonna continue to. I really want to take this car. But I, but I got to get it moved into a place. A place is not going to be waiting until January. So we got to do a month of this. Of chaos and confusion. Hmm. Anyway, let me, uh, let me get dressed. And eat me a bowl of oatmeal. 
business room so I can get ready so we can go take care of this business. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm sorry the video short today. But I got out of here. I got dressed. I got to go take care of this shit. I'm out. Bye.